Scott Laboratories presents Drops of Knowledge. When restarting a sluggish or stuck fermentation, it is essential to address yeast biomass buildup together with the low nutrient levels. Appropriate yeast rehydration nutrients such as GoFirm and GoFirm Protect Evolution are useful tools. Both are rich in micronutrients and survival factors. When added to the rehydration water, these factors promote increased biomass of the selected yeast strain. Consequently, the selected yeast can acclimate more easily to the often hostile environments, including high alcohol and low temperature, associated with stuck fermentations. For wine stuck at greater than 3 degrees bricks, follow these step-by-step build-up and inoculation instructions. Step 1. Add 2 pounds per thousand gallons of yeast hulls 24 to 48 hours prior to restarting. Step 2. After 24 to 48 hours, rack off from the yeast hulls. Step 3. Add another 1 pound per thousand gallons of yeast hulls. Step 4. Add a complex yeast nutrient, either Fermate A, Fermate K, or Fermate O, directly to the tank of stuck wine at a rate of 1 half to 1 pound per thousand gallons. Many winemakers also add lysozyme at this time to reduce potential bacteria problems. Step 5. In another clean container, mix equal volumes of stuck wine and water. Generally, this will total about 10% of the total wine volume. For example, if you had 1,000 gallons of stuck wine, use 50 gallons of water and 50 gallons of wine. This container will be the mother restart tank. Step 6. Calculate the amount of yeast rehydration nutrient, go firm or go firm protect evolution, at 1.25 times the amount of yeast to be used. Dissolve the rehydration nutrient in 20 times its weight of clean, chlorine-free, 110 degree Fahrenheit water. Mix the solution and cool to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Step 7. Select a yeast strain that is both alcohol tolerant and a vigorous fermenter. We recommend Uva Firm 43, Uva Firm BC, Bianis, Lalvin, K1, V1116, or Anchor, VIN 13. Calculate the amount of yeast required for the total volume of stuck wine at 3 to 5 pounds per thousand gallons. When the rehydration nutrient and water solution temperature has cooled to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, slowly, over a five minute period, add the yeast. Stir gently to mix and avoid clumping. Let yeast suspension stand for 15 minutes. Step 8. Check the temperature of the yeast suspension. There should not be more than 18 degrees Fahrenheit difference between the yeast suspension and the diluted wine in the mother restart tank. If there is too great a temperature difference, a temperation may be required. Cold temperatures may shock the yeast cells. Step 9. When the yeast suspension is properly hydrated, Add the yeast to the mother restart tank and wait approximately 25 minutes. Step 10. Add 10% of stuck wine to the mother restart tank and wait approximately 25 minutes. Step 11. Add another 20% of stuck wine to the mother restart tank and wait approximately 25 minutes. Step 12. Keep adding remaining stuck wine in 20% increments to the mother restart tank and wait approximately 25 minutes. Step 13. Add any remaining wine to the mother restart tank. For wine stuck at 1 to 2 degrees bricks, follow this protocol, except in step 4, reduce the complex yeast nutrient addition to a half pound per thousand gallons. For wine stuck at less than 1 degree bricks, follow this protocol, except in step 4, eliminate the addition of a complex yeast nutrient altogether.